Wild growth from a failed isn't going to be the most amount of healing. Specs are now laying in with Sharpened Blade. He does force. Boom starts to trade out Survival Instincts, which will soften him up again later on. Born Good still getting tunneled down by Envious, but Envious is finally getting counter pressured. In the meantime, will they have to trade any major cooldowns is the question. Born Good is the one who's forced to pop Avenging Wrath. That's going to boost his team healing, and it's going to allow him to recover quite easily from this position. Smexen is still held on to his avatar, though. And that cooldown is now even more scary for Born Good moving forward. Yep, Let's see Envy is still just marching towards Born Good. There's the full hammer of justice. This is an opportunity to get a little bit of damage rolling on him, but Born Good's been doing a good job with this freedom so far to kite away, and they really don't, they don't have a spell for that except Colo. So Colo needs to make sure he's getting those freedoms off as fast as possible, allowing Envious and Smexen to have a little bit more uptime. Rare Frost used there by Floor Mats, putting out some decent damage onto Envious with the full Polymorph onto Colo. That Spear Link is just so strong. If you guys aren't aware of what it does, it basically links up everyone's HP. So everyone takes reduced damage, but everyone takes that damage. All right. They need to get a good crowd control chain on Colo and split the team up, but they've just not been able to execute it. They are inevitably falling behind with Born Good taking immense pressure here. Envious leading the charge, switching over to Boom Surge, procking his huge shield, now switching targets again. It's important to switch targets normally during this. You're not likely to kill through it. You're just wasting damage. You can attack a different target, and then Borgut has to deal with it and heal it back up. Smexen trying to stay on target. Nice purge from Colo on Born Good's Blessing of Freedom. Unfortunately, Smexen has given up the chance. He's just going to go back and start attacking Boom Surge. Envious attacking Floor Mats in center field. Just trying to disrupt and cause as much havoc as possible to run Born Good out of mana just that much faster. And Smexen doing a good job with his uptime onto Born Good. Floor Mat taking a little bit of damage in the meantime as well. Boom Surge, you can see, he's always trying to protect Born Good. There's a lot of off healing for him in this matchup. So when Born Good gets stunned up like this, Boom Surge will often get out of Feral form or get out of Kitty form throw out some heals onto Born Good just to assist him and allow Born Good to hold on to that Divine Shield, that Blessing of Protection, those key defensive cooldowns just a little longer. Maybe Boom Surge and Floor Mats can actually pressure Colo enough to make him have to run away from his team. Like when Colo is standing in the middle of the map like this, maybe they can actually just pressure him to the point where he feels like he has to run away. And then when he does that, they can crowd control him and really get Colo on one side and his teammates on the other side. And that could be another opportunity for the Link to fall off. Or if they land a counter spell just like that and then follow that up with a Sheep, doesn't manage to get it, and I think there was an Earth. Yeah, there's an Earth and Shield totem there. So, uh, yeah, the team Super Rejects are gonna be able to weather this storm. Uh, and now Colo, this is the situation you're gonna be in. You see, the link is falling off here. Flormat needs to crowd control Colo. Nice route there from Boom Surge, but Flormat's gonna have to blink in and drop a Frost Nova on him and follow that up. Doesn't manage to find it, and Colo is gonna be able to reconnect, press that Spirit Link, and that's gonna allow Envious as well as Smexin to really go in and stay on target. And now Colo can stay here in the middle of the map again because he is going to be on that diminishing return for that big CC chain. So as long as the team of Super Rejects keep playing like a unit like that, there's really not going to be any openings for the Super Whales. They have to create them by targeting Colo, I believe. Yeah, and I'm also wondering if these Frost Mages should consider changing their specs to what you were saying earlier with Glacial and Lonely Winter, just maximizing, basically turning themselves into destruction warlocks yeah. and trying to pressure the healers that run in the middle of the map like this. Formats doesn't have enough pressure as the, spe the talents he's running currently to force anybody away. He may not with the change, but I feel like what they're doing right now isn't working, so why not try something different? They've got Colo locked down in the middle of the map. The Spirit Link has fallen, but they can't keep the chain going. Colo will refresh it and continue on, but in the meantime, Born Good managed to drink back to full mana. He's doing his best with what he's got. It's just a matter of what can they really do? I mean, at 50% dampening, maybe they do enough damage to kill the whole team. And that's really their only what they're playing for at this point. This kind of really reminds me of the grand finals of Europe right now. Born Good and Four Matches running away, creating space. Boom Surge doesn't even want to get into a battle right now. Finally gets caught into a stun. A little bit of damage is going to be happening over on him. Colo into a Polymorph, but just, just not that much pressure. This Smexon is going to be taking some damage. He fears up Born Good, interestingly enough. Not sure why he did that, but Born Good got caught into the fear there. That's not going to be available for Smexon as a defensive cooldown a little bit later on. Uh, now Windshear over on a Born Good, but 
He's doing a really good job managing his mana, managing his defensives. Dampening now at 10%, and Super Whale's definitely in a better spot than the last game. Yeah, for sure, mana is doing great, but I think Borngard had ended up going down in a stun, so there's still that burst potential that could take him down. Envy is trying to force the issue right now. Smexen charging over as well. Both members attacking Borngard. He's trying to create some distance, but finally getting support from his team, gets some cast and heals and able to stabilize. They switch their attention to Boom Surge, and Borngard always has to bounce back and heal his teammate whenever the Super Rejects make these swaps, and it costs them a lot of mana, and they can catch up to their target much easier. It's very important for the Super Rejects to always switch targets when their primary one escapes. All right, we can see some crowd control on Colo, but I don't think it's long enough without the blinding light really to force the Spirit Link to fall off and then sneak in some burst onto Envious. Borngard still just kiting away. Colo just chasing him down, maybe for a wind share, even just a hex at low health. Even though it can be removed, he's just trying to interrupt heals. Gets the hex by both Format and Boom Surge. Have that decurse, so not super effective, but like you said, interrupt. Unfortunately, Borngard already topped himself off. Colo now into another full sheep. Format looking to do some damage over on the Smexen. Smexen says, you know what, I'm going in battle. Forget you. <laughs> he just goes in battle stance for a little bit, but finally back in D stance, but really not too scared of that damage just yet. And that really shows how strong that Spirit Link talent really is. All right, so let's see what the openings are here. They've got Icy Veins up in three. I'm wondering if Floor Match should just hold on to that until 50, maybe 60% damage, because if he doesn't get anything done with it, then he doesn't have it for potential counter pressure in the near future. Uh, it's going to be, be, be a mistake. They're not really Umi Colo, definitely not by crowd controlling him. I think they should start attacking him. I, I, it, it just seems weird that they're ignoring him. To, to bounce off of the strength of, of this link, uh, like as Ben had started to mention, that's the reason, too, that Super Whales is forced to play this composition. Like, it, it doesn't make sense in Super Whales' mind to play Hunter into the link. So that's why they're playing this. So it's twofold. Super Rejects have them completely cornered in win condition, in compositions that they can play, and now in 21% dampening, they're going to try to chunk down Born Good. Well, that's the thing about jungle, right? Like, normally you see jungle or a comp like RMP, and it's very rushed down. You have to win relatively quick, but with how defensive Spiritling Shamans are, you have all these defensive PvE trinkets available in the game for them to use. You just can't win that quickly as a Feral Druid, as a Hunter. It just, it just doesn't work. So uh, that's why they had to change it up. Like you said, they need to bring in the Mage. They need to play the long game as well. They need to keep up the snares, avoid some damage, and then later on, they have an opportunity to kill. I still think Boom Search, even if he's a fresh Boomkin would be better than Feral Druid in this matchup. They can split up. They've got Cyclone to help up Born Good recover, and they can crowd control off the Spirit Link. Late game, they can just AoE the whole team. It's definitely the better spec compositionally. It's just a matter of confidence for Boom Surge if he's even going to be able to play it. In the meantime, Florimance is getting good crowd control on Colo and decent pressure on Envious, managing to proc his tank trinket and get eye for an eye. There are some glimmer of hopes now moving deep into Dampany. Envious Freedom's over on the Born Good, still doing some decent damage. 30% dampening about to tick. Smexin actually, I think he trinketed out of a Polymorph, so doesn't have the trinket available. Wants to get aggressive over onto Born Good, but you can see Boom Surge retreating, throwing out some heals, getting out some stuns onto Envious. Format's been doing a good job landing full Polymorphs onto Colo, but I can't help but feel Colo doesn't even care if he gets full Polymorphed. They just don't have the damage at this point of the game to topple off his team. So instead of trying to avoid the Polymorphs by line of sighting and cheering, he's just tanking them because he, he can. Well, as long as he applies the Spirit Link before he gets Polymorphed, it's really good for him. But Flormat could do more, to be honest, to actually make Colo's life a little bit more miserable. He could definitely make Colo waste those, uh, those Spirit Link charges, essentially, because they do cost quite a bit of mana to reapply. And if he does that with the fake casting a couple of polymorphs and making sure that they split up it's a lot better for uh, super wells the other advantage colo has is he's got blessing of wisdom from the rep held and refreshing his mana everything oh, about yeah. this composition is just really well rounded it's just a different version of what we've seen from europe the same could be said for the feral mage team as well we're moving deeper and deeper into dampening at this point board good seems to be the one struggling more than here Polo. here there's no link this is the situation you get them split up then you land the crowd control off of a nova Perfect. and bam there's the, there's the bubble if floor mats keeps doing that they can definitely abuse a large map like this and actually win the game but it's it is very difficult to do yeah, envious needs to just make sure that 
you know, Specs and Envious, I think they just got a little bit over aggressive there. As long as they're by Colo, as long as they have the Spear Link, it seems like they can be very, very tanky. They did not run away. They put Colo in a very bad spot, couldn't defend himself. Boom Surge and Floor Mats were able to get the crowd control, like you said. Envious then all alone. So here's another full polymorph on Colo, but he has the Spear Link up. Envious reluctant now. Look, he doesn't want to chase Borngood. He wants to stay near Colo so he can refresh that link and keep his team alive. But that allows Borngood to go and do this, what he's doing right now, which is going for that drink. And if Floor Mat and Boom Surge, there we go. If they stop that, uh, Borngood might actually get a couple of ticks. Not this time around, but uh, this is for sure the winning strategy on their end. Yep. I can't help but agree with you, Zico. I think it is a good way. I mean, you, you saw it. Of Envious's bubble immediately triggered as soon as that spirit link wasn't up, and Cola went into a full polymorph. Now full hammer justice on porn good. Looks like he actually trinketed out of that one. They're putting a lot of pressure on Envious. He could be in some trouble here. Only has the blessing of protection really available to keep himself alive. Colo refreshes the spear link, has to play catch up a little bit. We're at 43% dampening, so this is not easy for either one of these healers. But look at Born Good's mana, it's not good. And poor little Holy Pally struggling to top himself off. In the meantime, though, Format's going to be taking a little bit of damage. I kind of want Envious in. I want Smexon to get on Format. They need to pressure him. Temporal Shield will provide a little heal. They also force out the ice block, but Born Good just can't top his team off. They're going to have to make a play right here and now. Oh. They need to finish the game. Spirit Link, they need to get it to end. They've got them split up. They need to keep Colo away from his team, but Envious pulls back. The Spirit Link is going to reconnect, and that kill opportunity is now lost. Born Good is on defense, caught into a double stun lock. Easily going to have to trade Divine Shield here with Deppening so high, and the entire team dogpiling on him. Divine Shield forced. Boom Surge dipping low. Floor Mat's low as well. Born Good has a couple more seconds of Avenging Wrath to top his team. Will he be able to do it in time? It does appear to be the case they've stabilized they've managed to create another opportunity to find a kill on envious they've got a polymorph on colo they need to split them up envious knows that he was sitting next to colo just a little bit longer i almost would rather he just stays next to him even just a bit longer now the spirit link should get refreshed envious is unlikely to go down now they're pushing in for potentially the final stun of the match yeah, Floor Mats blinks over, still looking for the Polymorph, CCing up Smex, and he's been doing a good job with the control of this game, Born Good, making sure he's always running through Floor Mats so he can provide those snares and those roots and those Polymorphs to help keep him alive. Another Polymorph over onto Smex, and honestly, anytime Polo gets crowd controlled like this, I really want to see Envious just run on top of him. The if thing is going to fall off here, I think. Right, this could be an opportunity, but they don't really have any follow up. That's the problem, like you were saying, Polymorph's done. Even if it fell off, it only fell off for a second. Boom Surge is the one taking most of the damage. Smexen providing huge pressure for his team. Envious getting crowd controlled up by Format. Smexen wants to push in, though. He realizes Born Good actually drank a lot, so he's going to be able to hopefully top off Boom Surge. I still feel like Blinding Light has to be the talent choice. If they had that extra crowd control earlier on, Envious might just be dead right now. Uh -oh. Good's doing whatever he can uh -oh. to try and win the attrition fight, but he's got no cooldowns left. No. That's 56% healing reduction and the Red Paladin in his face. He's doing everything that he can, but it will not be enough. The Super Rejects advance 2-0 in the series. And the Super Rejects are looking to Super Rejects.